Well, good evening once again from Augustana College, the Carver PE Center, and the uh, boys' uh, uh, portion of the uh, Iowa-Illinois Senior All-Star Shootout. Brian Ratchin uh, here for Family Ties Productions bringing you this contest tonight. And with me tonight, my broadcast colleague, he is the uh, sophomore coach at uh, North Scott High School, formerly also the varsity coach at Durant, TJ Case. Good evening, TJ. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for having me. And uh, we're, of course, looking forward to a fine contest tonight, uh, I'm sure. Uh, the Iowa uh, top players in the Mississippi Athletic Conference uh, playing the uh, best from uh, Illinois. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, first of all, about the MAC. Uh, well, some the, of the players you've seen. Well, the MAC's got uh, some real nice players. Uh, they got some good size. Uh, the Daniel kid's a real nice player from Assumption. Yep. Uh, big, strong kid inside. Uh, they've got uh, the the, uh, the Eric Lee from Bettendorf shoots the ball real well from the perimeter. Uh, the uh, Sawyer kid from Bettendorf's a nice player. And they're athletic. They're going to get up and down the floor and play hard. Uh, I really like the Michaelis kid well from PV. Yes. He's very athletic. Yes. Uh, going over the players real quickly here, Daniel Byrne, and Eric Lee, Jordan Sawyer, Tanner Sortillo. That's the quartet from Bettendorf. Uh, Clinton has two players represented here tonight uh, from the uh, state tournament team, David Johnson, and uh, uh, he is listed on the roster, um, Maurice Walker. Uh, so they are both here tonight. Joe Daniel, as you mentioned, a uh, real nice player. He was the uh, uh, Mississippi Athletic Conference Player of the Year. Uh, first uh, all, Quad City Times All-Metro Captain. Daniel from Davenport Assumption, of course. Alex Lehman Carr from Davenport Central. Davenport North, represented by Davey and Mary Berry Mays. Davenport West has Cody Cooley. They went on that late season run and upset Bettendorf. Andrew Failer from Muscatine, I believe, is here. Yep. And uh, uh, Pleasant Valley rounding out the squad with Tim Martinez and Mitch Michaelis. Over to Illinois now. Uh, just kind of real quickly going over some of the uh, highlights. I know you haven't seen Illinois uh, Western Big Six teams very much. No, I hadn't. I got to watch a little bit. Got here a little early with my daughter and was able to watch the three-point contest and watched uh, Shaq Lowry shoot it. Looks like he shoots the ball real well. Lowry and, from uh, United And uh, Lennon Dow from um, uh, Moline shoots it well. We we played them uh, early in the season. And, uh, you know, the, Illinois is always athletic. They're ready to play, so it should be an exciting night. Victor Davis from Galesburg. Uh, Michael Ashpole, you have to say that name carefully. Uh, and Sam Hamer, uh, Ashpole and Hamer from Geneseo. Lindauer, Thomas Lindauer from Moline. Uh, Quincy, uh, three players uh, making the long trek up from uh, uh, East Central, uh, West Central Illinois, excuse me. Zach Forbes, Isaiah Johnson, and Alex Vondahar. Uh, Rock Island, uh, represented by DJ Anderson, and a late addition uh, whose name uh, uh, is uh, Victor Jones. And uh, Keelan Prince, uh, Rock Island Alleman, leading his team on a uh, surprising uh, postseason run over in Illinois. Uh, he's from Rock Island to Alleman. And then United Township rounding out the squad with Shaq Lowry and Demetrius Singleton. So it should be a very exciting uh, contest, as you're saying. Uh, I believe Iowa may have won this game last year. I'll have to look at my notes. Uh, but uh, no matter what, we should. Well, I sure can see there's a lot of talent out on the floor, so it should be an exciting night. See what happens. And. Uh, we will uh, try to get that official stat here. Uh, the Illinois, Illinois actually had won that game last uh, spring. Uh, no, Iowa, excuse me, Iowa won it. I, I am misreading. Uh, not the first time that that's happened. As the pregame uh, warmup <coughs> has uh, uh, come to an end, and they're uh, making some last-second uh, announcements. The uh, coaches, uh, just to finish up here, uh, 
Denport or, or the Iowa School um, squad, coached by legendary St. Ambrose coach Ray Shevlin, 500 uh, career wins plus, and Illinois, coached by Darren Basari, a Black Hawk College. So Ray Shevlin, his uh, the. Uh, uh, Iowa boys coach and Darren Bazzari from Black Hawk College as we're introducing the uh, starters. There's Isaiah Johnson from Quincy. And Michael Ashpole. We'll say that name as deliberately as we can. Sam Hamer from Geneseo. Six foot five inches. And UT's Demetrius Singleton. As that looks to be the last of the uh, Illinois non starters. Excuse me, the Iowa non-starters being introduced. It appears like the uh, starting lineup for Iowa will be Eric Lee from Bettendorf, Mitch Michaelis from Bettendorf, or Pleasant Valley rather, Alex Lehman Carr from Davenport Central, David Johnson from Clinton, and Joe Daniel from Davenport Assumption as the last of the uh, non-starters are being introduced. There's Cody Cooley from Davenport West. And six foot one inches from Davenport North, Davin Mayberry Mays. And Davin uh, Mary Berry Mays. <coughs> We're going to introduce Illinois here. Thomas Lindauer. Lindauer, one of the uh, top players from Illinois, or from uh, Moline, rather. Lindauer, second team, all Quad City Times Metro. Um, and uh, that's. Layman Carr. This is Zach Forbes from uh, Quincy. And Michaelis out there on the floor. He, of course, was one of those uh, players that uh, made a difference against North Scout in three team meetings. Yeah, he did. You, you got to know where Michaelis is at all time. He's going to go back for second, third opportunities, and he gets up and down the floor real well, real athletic kid. Victor Davis from Galesburg out on the floor. And there's Eric Lee, the uh, guy who's come up with a lot of clutch three-point shots. You got to guard Lee. He can shoot it, especially in the corner. He likes to get deep in the corner and transition. And he can knock the shots down. Shaq Lowry, number four. For Iowa, he's six foot three, playing for Clinton, number 33. And there's David Johnson. Johnson, of course, the uh, player of the year on the football yeah. uh, end of things in the Quad Cities area. Yeah, Johnson's another one, just athletic and jump out of the gym. Real exciting player to watch. So, so we'll see what happens there. And then, of course, Joe Daniel, the top player from basketball. Yeah, Daniel is a uh, player of the year in the MAC, and he really wants the ball on the block and really can go to work if they give him the ball and give him opportunities there. So once again, the starting lineups from Illinois, Zach Forbes, Shaq Lowry uh, from United Township, Forbes from Quincy, that is, uh, Thomas Landauer from Moline, Keelan Prince from Holloman, and Victor Davis from Galesburg. Iowa being represented by Bettendorf's Eric Lee, 
Mitch Michaelis from Pleasant Valley, Alex Lehman Carr from Central, uh, David Johnson from Clinton, and Joe Daniel from Davenport Assumption. So both teams out on the floor shaking hands. <coughs> These will be 20 minute halves with a 35 second shot clock. It looks like Joe Daniel from uh, Assumption and uh, Victor Davis from Galesburg in the center jump. Iowa wins the tip, we're underway. And uh, it looks like uh, Lehman Carr will be uh, playing the point, gives it to Eric Lee and there's already a travel, quick travel. Yep, quick travel, just moved his feet. Uh, but that's where he likes to shoot it, right there in the corner. So you got to be ready to, to get out there and defend that. Uh, Illinois bringing it up court now as we get it to uh, Victor Davis. Davis almost blocked there, and he makes the first shot of the game. Nice shot there. Davis with a nice move there. Yeah, strong, strong with his back to the basket there. And there's Mitch Michaelis for Pleasant Valley. And Iowa is on the board <coughs> for Iowa, three to two. Shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to David Johnson, but it's stolen right back. And Keelan Prince, Prince in. So Prince makes a nice shot there. Yeah, he does. Uh, nice steal and very active with his hands and nice put back there. And Lehman Carr will take a three. He gets it. Alex Lehman Carr, another one of those uh, three-point shooters that you got to keep your eyes on all time. Yeah, he's a relaxed shooter. You know, he can just kind of feel the feel the rhythm and and get into it. So you got to guard him. Lowry gets it off to Keelan Prince. No rebound comes down to Victor Davis for the Illinois boys, and he gets it in. Davis is a handful there. They're going to have to find a way to guard him. It was almost tipped there, but Lehman Carr for uh, Central keeps it for the Iowa boys. Daniel, nope, tapped around, and it's going to go to Illinois. They get the turnover as Thomas Lindauer gets it to Davis. Davis shooting over Daniel, and it's no good. Rebound uh, to uh, uh, David John Johnson. Yep, Johnson's got two early rebounds, and he's very active on the glass, so... And uh, Johnson, we should point out, is going to UNI, but he's playing football. Three-point Three shot by Alex Lehman Carr. It's nine to six. Carr can shoot it. Yes, he's done a great job all year. You can just tell he doesn't put any pressure on himself, and he's just relaxed, and he's going to go shoot the ball, and, and that's, that's what it takes. There's Davis. It's going to be a good matchup all night with those two. Rebound comes down to Michaelis for the Iowa boys. Eric Lee from the corner shot. Nope, rebound. Daniel. Joe Daniel. It's the kind of things Daniel does. He's around the basket, putbacks. And there's Keelan Prince uh, for Alleman. Gets it to Lindauer. Lindauer, no, rebound. Johnson, nice rebound there. He led uh, Clinton, as you know, in uh, rebounds and scoring. Yeah, he's just got a knack for the ball, and he knows that Getting on the glass is a big part of the success that the Clinton River Kings had. So, I mean, does it on both sides of the ball. Davis making the last nice pass. Shot. Nice pass there. Nope. And a tap, tap in for uh, Joe Daniel. So he has four points, 13 to eight. Yep. Shaq Lowry, the UT standout, gets it up. No, blocked. Looked like Daniel maybe or yeah. Lee? Looked like Daniel was a nice take by Lowry though. Put it on the floor, nice, nice take. Lowry's gonna bring it up court as Illinois gets the turnover. Lowry, no, almost an own goal there. And it looked like uh, the Quincy guys, Zach Forbes, had the uh, uh, rebound. But that time, uh, Michaelis had it for Pleasant Valley, the Iowa team. Nice look. Yeah, nice look there. Daniel gets it in. Yeah, he's just. He's strong, strong, very strong around the basket. 15 to 8, Iowa up, and it looks like we're going to have some wholesale substitutions here pretty quick. As uh, Zat, uh, Forbes gets it over to Keelan Prince. Uh, Prince, or no, had it over to Forbes. There's uh, Victor Davis. 
First team all Quad City Times Metro player gets it to Forbes. Forbes! Nice shot there. Yeah, you can tell Forbes just waiting for that. You know, he just wanted to get his feet set and knock her down. He sure did right there. Right there in front of Michaelis. We're at about 15-23, 15-11. Uh, Iowa in the lead as Daniel tries to get the rebound. And uh, he had it a couple times, but there's a loose ball. Michaelis, oh, not a very good pass there, unfortunately. Uh, he kind of got it behind him there a little bit. It was a good idea. Okay, wholesale substitutions. Who do we got here? <coughs> Sortillo for Bettendorf. Will Walker, shortest guy on the court. Andrew Failer, uh, Davion Mary, Barry Mays, and Cody Cooley. And there's the two Geneseo players, or do we have just one out there? We just have one Geneseo player. Yes, just one. Uh, Isaiah Johnson is in for Quincy as Bo Walker brings it up court. There's Mayberry Mays up, no, rebound comes down to uh, Demetrius Singleton. There's Isaiah Johnson in. Johnson with a nice pull up. Run the floor real well. Knock her down. 15 to 13. Uh, Genesis, uh, Iowa is up by only two now. They we're up by seven a little bit ago, and it's out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Illinois ball as the uh, two Quincy players will uh, give to each other. Uh, Johnson looks around, gets it to uh, Bondahar for three. And it's 15 to, 16 to 15. Illinois has its first lead. Yeah, it was a nice shot. Cody Cooley for Davenport West, up, no, rebound comes down. We have a fight over the ball. <coughs> Our first jump ball of the night, it will go to Illinois. Yeah, you look at Cody Cooley and you look at 6'7", and you think he's going to play with his back to the basket, underneath the basket, and he sure likes to come out and shoot those threes, so you're going to have to guard him out there because he and, can knock him down. And remember, he uh, was one of the keys to uh, Davenport West, big upset of Bettendorf in the postseason. Sure was. So we'll see wh who the foul's on. There's a foul. Looks like it's the first of the ball game. Foul's on Iowa's number 33. Cody Cooley, his first. And uh, we'll have Demetrius Singleton shooting two for the Illinois boys. The first one's no good. 13-47. To go in the first half, second one, no rebound by Andrew Failer. Tanner Sortillo, I believe, saved it. There's the shot, no good. Sortillo, and we have a foul on the uh, floor. Fouls on Illinois 44, that's DJ Anderson. DJ Anderson for Rock Island, picking up Illinois' first foul. Number 15. And Tanner Sortillo, or Sortillo, I think you better call it, misses the first. What? Second one is good. So we're tied at 16. 13 34. As Sortillo is a nice player. We have the other 32 out there. And we'll figure out who he is here in a moment. It was tapped out of bounds. It will be Illinois bound, uh, Illinois ball. Shot taken by DJ Anderson. And it's 18 to 16. Illinois is up by two. 13-13 as Mo Walker brings it up court. Another one of those players you have to watch. Oh, he's quick. Handles the ball real well. He flies all over the floor. Very, very quick. Could shoot it too, little. Sortillo, nope. Rebound comes down to uh, the Illinois boys. <clears throat> Here we go, coast to coast, and uh, we have a foul. Iowa foul, number 15. 15, that's going to be Sortillo, his uh, first, Iowa's second. 
We're going to figure out who this guy is once and for all. First shot is in. Sam Hamer. They had him marked as number one on the uh, roster, so that kind of threw us off a little bit. Hammer, uh, no good on the second. He's ah. one of two, so it's 19 to 16. As Anderson gets it to Johnson for Quincy. Oh, push the Iowa gets it right back. There's a solo, oh, almost a dunk. Gets the rebound. <laughs> Does uh, Mayberry Mays. Well, it's a good effort there by Failer, but uh, yeah. just didn't get her done. And uh, we'll see uh, him uh, maybe a little bit later in the uh, slam dunk contest at halftime. Well, he's going to have to do better than that, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid so. But uh, we'll talk a little bit about dunking, what it takes to be a good dunker, and uh, very nice uh, put back there by. Dave Barry Mays for the Iowa boys, 20 to 19. And TJ Anderson for Rocky answers right back. To me, it just looks like uh, the Illinois boys are just getting up and down the floor, just out hustling them. Well, we'll see what kind of answer Iowa has. It's Bo Walker for Clinton, misses on the uh, three point shot. Uh, Johnson for Quincy takes the long three, no good. Rebound comes down to. Davey and Mayberry Mays, and Johnson calling the play, or not Johnson, but Bo Walker. Yeah, Walker's kind of a real floor general out there. Does a nice job getting people set up where they Cooley. need to. Cooley for Wes, no good. Rebound comes down to uh, that guy that we saw at the line a little bit earlier. Sam, Sam Hamer. Hamer. And Mayberry Mays draws a foul. His first, Iowa's third, Tim Martinez, checking in for Pleasant Valley. You yeah. might know that he's, of course, uh, the nephew of uh, Roger Craig. Yeah, Tim Martinez, I mean, he's just a nice, nice player, handles the ball well, but especially as his defense, he's a shutdown defender. He can really get after it. And Singleton for United Township scored for the Illinois boys, 23-20. Illinois in the lead as we have the shot good. A three-pointer by Jordan Sawyer. Sawyer. And Sawyer, of course, one of those players uh, uh, we didn't see the second game of the season um, when North Scott played him. Yeah, he was out injured, I think, uh, but didn't play against us. And uh, Rebound by Martinez. Go yeah, he's, he's, he's a nice player. Um, handles ball well, sets everybody else up well, and can shoot it. So... And Anderson uh, for the Illinois team uh, gets the rebound. Anderson from Rocky. And uh, there's Sam Hamer for Geneseo. Gets it to uh, Anderson inside uh, Singleton. He has some substitutions here pretty quick again. Sawyer gets the rebound uh, for Bettendorf. Sawyer bringing it up court to Daniel. The Davenport assumption stand out. I don't think he's playing uh, any sports next year. That's what I heard. Um, you know, it sounds like uh, maybe I heard Iowa. Is that what the plan is? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what school he's going to. He, of course, anybody can help Iowa right now. Three for Joe Daniels. Speaking of which, I heard he was just planning on going to work on education and work on his his classes and so stuff. So he's and got I'm his he's got his head uh, uh, on straight. So that's a good thing. Yes, he does. Um, and like I said, uh, you know, who knows, maybe he could have helped out Iowa with their uh, new coach, uh, Mr. Uh, Fran McCaffrey, being introduced just yesterday. As the shot is good, uh, no, it is a good, it was by missed uh, by uh, Bondahar, I believe. We have a foul on Isaiah Johnson. For Quincy, Illinois second. Ashpole checks in. For Geneseo, Victor Jones. For Rocky. Keelan Prince back in for Alleman. And Lindauer also. 
Michaelis takes the shot. No rebound comes down to the Illinois boys as Ashpole gets it to number 24. That's uh, probably Vandahar. There's Michaelis, looks around. We're at 8.44, Iowa's up 26-23. Uh, Martinez to his teammate. Michaelis, it's a nice take. He gets it in there. Yeah, he's That's quick. Part of the reason they were in the uh, Iowa Class 4A uh, um, uh, sub-state final against yeah. Limbar. Yeah, they're just, they're unselfish and they play together and, and uh, work well together. Daniel getting the defensive rebound, gets it to Martinez. There's Michaelis over to uh, number 41, Sawyer. Back to uh, uh, Daniel, it just tickles the uh, uh, net as Illinois gets the rebound. Ashpole, Ashpole gets it in for a long two. Yeah, it's a nice stroke. He was ready to shoot it there in transition. 28-25. Uh, Iowa with the three-point lead as we're at about 7.45 to go. Martinez over to Daniel. Daniel wants a look, gets it in. And we're gonna have mass substitutions. Eric Lee, Tanner Sortillo for Bettendorf, Alex Lehman Carr for Central and the two Clint boys. Of course, Clinton making their first uh, trip to the Iowa Class 4A state tournament. Uh, playing a uh, great game against Linbar, the uh, third place team in the state eventually. Of course, Clinton losing a hard fought game. And we have the shot there. Nice shot there by Bondahar. Takes the assist from Prince. We're at 30-27, getting close to seven points, or seven minutes left. A nice take. Nice take there. Car, Alex Car, which is Car. a nice take, left side. He could see it was going on the clear out. 32-27, Iowa in the lead, rebound there, nice rebound. Yeah, cleared so, it out well, he moves it down the floor well. And there's uh, Mo Walker. Walker over to Lehman Carr. Carr, no, rebound, nope, it's gonna go out of bounds. It was off Iowa. Yeah, it was maybe just a hair out of his range, but. Uh, Zach Forbes checking in uh, for the Illinois boys. Forbes, of course, from uh, Quincy. I believe they were the Western Big Six runners up. I think you're right. As Ashpole for Geneseo gets it. Now, I believe that's number 11, if I can uh, uh, see it right. It is, it's Victor Jones. Walker picks his first foul. That's Iowa's fourth. Gotta like the size of Keelan Prince though. Yeah. I mean, nice, big, physical kid, runs the floor well. And, uh, we have Lehman Carr for three, no rebound. Follow your long shot. rebound. He gets his own rebound. It's a long one. And there's uh, Eric Lee. Back to Walker, no rebound. Comes down. Lee over to Walker. Lehman Carr. Now he's going to set it up again. Yep. Of course, uh, I think he played some point guard, some uh, shooting guard, I think, when you were in high school. And Sortillo makes the uh, basket. So uh, obviously he has uh, good play calling. Yeah, he's comfortable out there. He can shoot it or he can go to the point guard position. Very comfortable out there. Nice move. Nice move there, yeah. Victor Jones on a nice spin move down the lane. 34-29. Iowa's in the lead by five. Getting close to 5.19 to go in the uh, first half. Sortillo gets it to Eric Lee. No, that was just off yeah, the mark there. Yeah, it's his corner shot, but just, just doesn't seem like he's got it rolling yet. Iowa gets it right back though. Bad pass there. Oh! Wow, good oh. idea. A little shake and bake there, Brian. <laughs> Couldn't quite uh, make that pork chop go, so. 
Rebound comes down, and uh, who's got the uh, foul? Looked like Ashpole was uh, trying to go inside. Yeah, Ashpole looking real aggressive there on the glass, staying with it. Gonna Alex, get a couple free throws out of it, I think. Alex Lehman Carr picking up the foul, his fifth. Ashpole will have two at the line. First one, no good. Mass substitutions. Victor Davis for Galesburg. DJ Anderson from Rocky and uh, Shaq Lowry for UT. And uh, we'll try to get the Iowas in a minute as Ash Pohl makes the second. Sam Hamer replacing his teammate. Ash Pohl after Ash Pohl makes the second of two free throws. Thaler tried to go inside. Yeah, Thaler, I mean, back in the game here after missing that dunk and goes back to where he's comfortable in there underneath the backboard, under the glass. Gonna get to go shoot some free throws here. Forbes picking up the foul. Thaler will have two at the line. Off the mark, the first one. So we have a couple Bettendorf boys coming in. Into the lineup for number 41 and number 53 for Bettendorf. Jordan Sawyer and Daniel Byrne. Yeah, Daniel Byrne. We haven't talked a lot about him, but he's a real physical kid inside as well. And he can uh, really Thaler, you up. Thaler makes the second one. Of course, we want to mention Byrne, Lee Sawyer, and Sortillo, part of the Mississippi Athletic Conference champions. And the turnaround right there. DJ Anderson. Yeah, that was a nice turnaround. And Failer gets it in. Failer didn't fail that time. Yeah, they're getting it up tempo now. 37-32, so we're close to four minutes to go as Davis, nope, he missed. It was uh, Mayberry Mays that had the rebound. And uh, Mayberry Mays gets it to Cody Cooley for Davenport West. Wanted to drive inside there. Gets it to Failer. Failer, no, rebound. Victor Davis for Galesburg for the Illinois boys. No, kind of a. Yeah, tough foul there, but you know, Illinois forcing Iowa to kind of foul there a little bit because they are pushing the ball down the floor and they're just not ready for it, so. So who do we have the foul on here? Looks like it's going on Sawyer. Sawyer from Bettendorf. And uh, we've got two Sam coming up. Hamer. Sam Hamer. First one's good, 37-33. 3.41 to go in the uh, first half. Second one's good, 34 uh, for Illinois, 37 for Iowa. As Sawyer wants to look around, gets it to uh, Daniel Byrne. Byrne over to Cooley for West. You got Cooley really playing the three, it kind of looks like. But that's a nice take, nice move. Yes. Make it 39-34, Iowa in the lead by five. A very impressive move by Cooley to put it on the floor like that from there. And you have to wonder why West hasn't had any more success than they've had. They've had the height. They've had a, a number of good players that they have a good coach. Just hadn't always clicked. Yeah, I think it's coming around. I think uh, Coach Bigler's doing a nice job over there, and they got some young players coming. Mark Bigler, of um, course, is who yeah, we're referring so, to. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, sometimes you just have to create that winning atmosphere a little bit for a couple years and get it going. And I. I, I think that they'll be uh, they'll be in the hunt next year. They very well might be in that upset win, of course, over uh, uh, Bettendorf might have been the uh, spark they needed. It's got to build confidence. I mean, it has to. So, I mean, I think that's what they're going to have to kind of build on for next year. Both teams trading, uh, as we talked, both teams trading uh, uh, unsuccessful uh, attempts. Iowa has the ball right now. As Byrne gets it to Sawyer, Failer. Failer backing him, Victor Davis up. And he gets it in, Failer. 
That's five points for him tonight, 41-34. And again, Muscatine's one of those uh, teams as Victor Davis gets the uh, rebound, kicks it to uh, Sam Hamer, his first field goal of the night. 41-36. Anyway, I was saying, Muscatine, you have to wonder why they haven't had uh, the uh, success that uh, maybe they uh, should have. Yeah, I think it's the same thing down there. You know, just kind of trying to uh, get back on that winning winning way a little bit. And they've got some young kids coming and, and the wag, wag, uh, Wags kid and um, yep. uh, is it Adam Geddes over there too. I think they've got some younger kids coming. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Baylor. Starting to catch fire there a little bit. Yeah, he is. He's starting to really kind of settle down a little bit and gain some confidence. So. Seven uh, points for him. It's 43-36, seven-point lead for Iowa with a minute 10 to go. Remember, we had that slam dunk contest coming up at halftime. There's Failer on the glass again. So Failer's starting to uh, assert himself, really, but not a good pass there for some reason is Chad Clawry. Oh, wow. We're under a minute to go, and uh, it's going to be Illinois inbounding. And of course, right there's your slam dunk con uh, contestants, uh, three from each side as Davis, eight points for him uh, for the Galesburg standout, the uh, first team uh, all Quad City Times Metro player. Yeah, Davis is a nice player. Big physical kid inside. Six foot five, and uh, you know we don't know where he's going to school next year. Uh, he was honorable mention in Illinois Class 3A, as Illinois will inbound after it goes out of bounds. 12 rebounds a game, average 17, almost 18 points a game. Davis took the shot, but it was no good. But it's stolen right back as Cooley tries to get his butterfingers on it. Loose ball and looked like uh, Daniel Byrne finally came up with it. We're under about 15 seconds left. And Failer really going to town here now. Yeah, Failer just trying to keep himself around the basketball and he's finding himself some points. Lowry, six, five. Lowry's going to make a decision now. No rebound. Comes down. Failer. Well, no. What if it goes, but no. New way. 45 38. Iowa in the lead at halftime, and we'll be right back with the uh, slam dunk contest. At the half, Iowa 45, Illinois 38. Even, Mayberry May. Okay, we're about ready to go with the uh, slam dunk contest. The uh, three uh, Iowa contestants uh, from Downport North, uh, he's going to go first, Davian Maryberry Mays. He's going to get two tries here to make two dunks in 30 seconds. And they're going to be judged by members of the uh, Augustana men's basketball team. Here we go. There's one. That was a nice throw to yourself. Go up, grab, and dunk. And we'll see what kind of a score he's going to get here. Got a couple eights, a seven, a six. I can't five. Well, it looks like two sevens there, so. A couple sevens, an eight, a five, and a six, it looks like. Okay, for uh, Illinois, it looks like Michael Ashpole. Peter Mays, 33. Okay, he's going to get a 33. Now, representing Geneseo, Michael Ashpole. He's going to get his turn. Oh, 360, uh, putting it down on the first nice. time. Nice job there. Gets a nice rise out of the crowd there. Got a couple eights and a, a couple nines. A four nines, so that's, uh, what is that? Three or four nines and an eight. That's uh, 44, I think. 44. 44 go. points, so. Now, Muscatine's Andrew Failer. Well, he missed one early in the game, so he's got a little chance here to redeem himself, Brian. Okay, he's got two tries, 30 seconds. 
Off the glass. Oh, no. Couldn't quite hit it that time. So we'll see what happens here. Well, he made it. He did get it on the second time. Off the glass, back to himself, and put back in, up and in. So. Yeah, you got a six, a couple sevens. Can't imagine that's going to be. Five. That's 12. 26, 31, I think. 31 for Andrew Taylor. Now representing United Township. And now we have United Township's Demetrius Singleton. Oh, no, no, that's not a dunk right there. I think he's trying to touch the ball to the backboard and then slam her down. Oh, nope, couldn't do it. Oh, oh couldn't quite get the height there. Nope, I, I think it's not gonna work, sorry. Sorry, but. Well, well, yeah, might be a little late there. You probably should have gone with that one right off the get go. But uh, Demetrius Singleton. Like it was United a, Township. It, nice. was, it was a good idea if he could have got it pulled off and done, but yeah. he couldn't stay up there long enough to get the tap and put it down. Next okay. This is David Nelson from. You gotta Clinton. wonder what's up his sleeve, Brian. Yeah. Right, Boom. that's what he had up his sleeve. Showtime. He can be a primetime player. Johnson God, pulling it down. A, yeah, we have a 10, our first the, 10. The windmill dunk. 27, 35, 45, he's in the lead. David Johnson. And the last contestant is uh, DJ Anderson from Rock Island. DJ Anderson. And, uh, We'll see what kind of a shot he has. Oh my, Ooh. sorry. Sorry, he missed his first one. Coming from the right side, trying to reverse it back. Almost got it, I think he can get it, Brian. Got it. That time he did. So we have a couple nines, three nines. That was impressive. 20, 37 and uh, 47. 46. 46. 46. Off by one. Johnson so he's in the lead right now. It looks like. Round two. Well, round two, we have another one. So, anyway, I was going to say, you had a, a couple of players uh, while you were at Grant that could dunk pretty, uh, pretty uh, impressively. Yeah. Uh, Jake Soy, I think, was one. And who, who were a couple others that could dunk? Um, I had uh, Jamie Meyer was in this uh, a few years back. Uh, did a real nice job with this. Jamie Meyer, of course, now playing at uh, University of Dubuque. Yes, he is. He's at University of Dubuque. And uh, Jake Soy at Northwest Missouri State playing football. He chose yep. football. And uh, Mayberry Mays uh, makes the shot. Got a seven, a five. A two. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be too happy if I were him. They must 29. know each other. Maybe he doesn't like him or something. Who knows? I thought at least a five down there. Yep, so so he's got, I believe, a uh, 62. And Ashpole will be up here. Uh oh. <laughs> That had to think about it. No, they're not going to count that one. Uh, I think he's trying to cover his eyes and then dunk it. It's not bad. He get it down. Okay, so we have a couple eights. Trying to kind of put his arm a up seven, over his eyes, uh, Brian, and nine. do it blindfolded a little bit. I thought and it was pretty nine. impressive. 41. 41. Makes his score 85. 85. So, Andrew Faylor. Two and dunk there. Faylor goes off the shot clock and throws it down. Pretty impressive. Well, you got some nines that time. Four nines and uh, eight. 
So that's going to be 75. 75 in second place so far. Demetrius Singleton, he'll have a Singleton, chance to. He's going to have to do better than he did the first time. But I don't, I don't think he's going to make it to the uh, second round, but <clears throat> at least he'll come away knowing he has a pretty nice stunt. Nope. Ah, he's trying hard. He just, just doesn't quite seem to know what he really wants to do, well, but he does get one down there. Yep. See what kind of a score he has there. Have a six, a four, a six. Yeah, he just shrugs his shoulders. At least it's a good sport. He's ready for the second half. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he's just smiling. They're all having a good time down there. Yeah, that's the important thing. David yeah, it's always kind of neat to see this, where you got kids that have battled each other all year long, and uh, they get a chance to play with each other. And, uh, you know, he, he wanted to kind of get a running start there. Oh, nope. You better just get one down. Hurry up. 12 seconds. Oh. Okay, time's running down here. Six, five, four. There he goes. Got it. Might have hold him in there. Ball was getting away from him, and he was losing time and uh, hadn't six, had one down. Uh, 24, 31, so he, 31. 76. He lost ground there. Se 76. He's going to have to hope Anderson it's off uh, kilter because Johnson, remember, he had a really nice oh. 360 dunk. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens there. He, under there, but it looked like the same dunk he did the first time, Brian. But, well, but they're going to give him some good numbers, enough to get in the finals, 27 I think. and uh, 16 is 43. For a two-round score of 80, 89, so it's going to be Michael Ashpole and, uh, for Geneseo and DJ Anderson for Rock Island. And again, we want to uh, just mention that Jake Soy, of course, one of your top athletes ever, was on that uh, national championship uh, football team. Yeah, he was. Uh, Jake just had a phenomenal year as a sophomore. And, uh, you know, not only a great, great player, but what a great kid. Yes. And, of course, his uh, kid sister, Emily, playing at North Scott. She is, yep. She's, she played on the varsity team as a freshman, I believe. Yep. Ashpole making that first dunk. Uh, that looked like it was better than that. 18 and uh, 14 is 32. And uh, DJ Anderson. But no, he had some nice dunks. And of course, one of your uh, best friends, one of your old teammates from North Scott, Kyle Gollinghorst, had some nice dunks. Yes, Kyle, you know. Kyle back in could, the mid 90s. Back in the days, yeah, Kyle could get up and get her done. It's uh, first, uh, I believe, second team All-State in 1994. Could be, could be. That was the year. Went to state in 93, and Kyle had a big year in 94. So what do we have here for Anderson? I think it's going to be close here, Brian. They didn't like that fives, one very well either. A couple sixes, 29. So we got a... Got a couple of uh, big shots here. Oh, we'll see what Between happens. Between the legs. Oh, no, no, no. That that was a little misfire there. That's all right. Nope. That's not a dunk. Ah. <laughs> He's got a great idea here between the legs and then turn around off the glass. But he can't quite get the pass of course. where he wants it. Nope, he's not going to score that time. Sorry. 32 points is his uh, two round score. Yeah, it was good effort. So, yep, it was. It was. G.J. Anderson. 
Looks like Anderson just gets this done. He's gonna get her done. Wow. There's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 360. 360. Putting it down with some authority. Are they gonna count it? No, they're not. Really? Yeah, it went out. It went back out. That's I why I was it. wondering. <laughs> well, you better hurry up here or else Ashpole will win. There he goes. Well, that's gonna, that seals it. Yeah, he's yes. gonna get points. Yeah, 32 and, or 22, 29. 58 points. DJ Anderson, your top. Of course, I think we've had uh, Another uh, couple other uh, outstanding dunkers at Norris got the uh, tandem of Sean Logan and uh, uh, Adam Ferencrew back about five years ago, 2004. Yeah, those were some big boys that came through there. Uh, I yep. can't forget Dallas Quitzel was in that bunch too. Yep. And uh, anyway, so that's gonna do it. We're gonna take a brief break and uh, we'll be back for the second half. Okay, we're getting ready to start the uh, second half, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of the uh, same players. Looks like Martinez is in there for... Yeah, uh, but Martinez, the uh, only uh, non-starter uh, starting the second half here. Uh, Zach Forbes uh, for uh, Quincy, uh, Shaq Lowry for United Township. Uh, Thomas Lindauer uh, from Moline, Allman's Keelan Prince, and Victor Davis from Galesburg. Uh, that's the Illinois starting lineup as they get the ball back. Iowa had it and it's unable to do anything, turned it over. Looked like uh, for Illinois, we have Eric Lee uh, from Bettendorf, uh, David Johnson from Clinton, Joe There's Daniels, nice Brad Sunil, there, uh, uh, did, uh, tried uh, Victor Davis, couldn't do it. Davis trying to put it down, down the lane, gonna slam dunk that. Yep, uh, Joe Daniel, as I was saying from Assumption, and then the two Pleasant Valley boys, uh, Michaelis, Mitch Michaelis, and uh, Tim Martinez. Thank you very much, as we uh, do have our leading scores of the uh, first half. Looks like Daniels. Joe Daniels, the uh, leading scorer for uh, the Iowa boys. Daniel from uh, uh, Davenport Assumption had 11 points. And uh, four players in double figs for um, the Illinois boys. Uh, we have two with 11 points. Uh, Sam Hamer from Geneseo and Zach Forbes from Quincy, each with 11. And then Victor Davis uh, from Galesburg, Shaq Lowry from uh, UT with 10 apiece. No, no, that's, take that back. That, I was looking at the Look wrong at column there. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, actually, it's Victor Davis that had eight points. Right. We were looking at the minutes column and uh, that's uh, clearly it would have been impossible. As Tim Martinez uh, takes the shot, uh, the nice assist from uh, David Johnson. Yeah, Martinez just run the floor well and got a nice little pass there, put her down. 49-38, Iowa opening up 11 point lead as Michaelis. That's what he does well, Brian. He just kind of pushes the tempo down the floor and takes a nice shot or assist or he draws the foul. In this case, he draws the foul. And uh, we have a foul, the first for the second half. Mitch Michaelis. As Michaelis makes the first, it appears. Yeah, you want to keep him off the line because he can really stroke it there. Makes them both 51-38. Uh, Zach Forbes was the one that drew the foul. 
Forbes, the Quincy standout, is that shot's off the mark by Forbes. Nice Forbes pass. in. Forbes from Lowry. And Illinois is on the board. 51 40. No, Lee tries to uh, take the shot and uh, it's out of bounds. That's a good idea. Good back door there. Just a little, little high. Prince inbounds to Shaq Lowry. I like Lowry. He looks like a nice player. Handles the ball well. Do you have a chance to see him in the uh, shootout over here? You know, um, it, it doesn't stick out in my, in my head. I was here, like I said, a little early to watch him stroke it from the uh, three-point line in the three-point contest, and he's a nice little player. Yep, and of course, we do uh, want to uh, mention that uh, when the uh, Mac uh, as Illinois is going to inbound, uh, the uh, Mac and the uh, uh, Western Big Six matched up. Davis there with the shot. Uh, Northcott and Davenport Assumption were the only winners in head-to-head -head matchups uh, with the Mac versus the Western Big Six. Daniel again. Daniel makes the shot and. Uh, Daniel um, beating, helping beat Galesburg. And I think Gail, uh, Galesburg uh, Davis, I believe. Yeah, had that. you got a great match just right now with Davis and uh, Daniel. Galesburg and Assumption going one on one, really. Let's clear everybody else off and just let those two go at it. Yes, uh, the long three there. No, Johnson wanted to re uh, uh, slam it, it looked like. Couldn't Shaq. do it. Shaq Lowry. Pushing the tempo. Anyway, uh, what we were getting, trying to talk about here, Norscott beating Moline. Yeah, we did. It was actually a kind of a slow down game, but we were able to kind of make a little bit of run in the second half and uh, won kind of a low scoring game that night. But uh, Yep. Lowry's going to the line for two shots as Martinez for the Iowa boys picks up the foul. Andrew Failer checking in. Jordan Sawyer and uh, Tanner Sortillo from Bettendorf. Alex Lehman Carr also in. And I believe I saw Mo Walker in too. Yep. So uh, Lowry gets the shot in. 53 45. Eight point lead for Bettendorf. Uh, the other uh, Mac win was uh, Davenport Assumption. I believe they beat Galesburg. I think you're right. We got over here a little late. We didn't see that game, but uh, I think you're right. They did beat Galesburg that night. Forbes makes it for the Illinois boys, 53-47. Illinois on a little bit of a run here. Yeah, they are. You know, they're pushing the tempo, but they're getting good shots. Sawyer, one of the top players for Bettendorf. Gets it in. They are nice. down on the other side of the floor again. Nice and alert there. Forbes for the Illinois squad and Sortillo, the Bettendorf guy, gets the rebound. Sortillo wants to think about it, gets it to Maurice Walker. Sortillo always does a nice job screening the ball and rolling and very active there. Rebound to uh, Failer for the Muskies. The Iowa boys, and it's in. Failer, that's 11 points for him. Yeah, he's really coming along. And it's back to a 10 point lead as we're under 15 minutes to go. Keelan Prince, and we're gonna get some mass substitutions here for the Illinois boys. Hamer, number 11, Victor Jones. Sam Hamer. Victor Jones, Sean Vanderhaar, and Isaiah Johnson. So we have a two Quincy players, actually three Quincy players on the floor right now, along with somebody from Geneseo and one from Rocky. Forbes. Forbes, nice shot there. It's got eight points, six of them in the second half. Sawyer. Oh. Nope, it was tapped there, it looked yeah, like. Yeah, it looked like it went off his foot. So, anyway, um, wrapping up uh, the uh, Western Big Six winners, uh, it was uh, Alleman, uh, Rock Island Alleman crushing Davenport North. 
as Bo Walker makes the three. It's 60-49. Shot off the mark there, rebound. Forbes with the Forbes. Forbes with the put back. Yeah, he's had eight points. Starting yeah. to come around, get a little bit more comfortable maybe. Yeah, he is. We have uh, Lehman Carr over to Tanner Sertillo. Looks like the, they get caught with a foul there, but the Illinois side looks like they're kind of stepping the D up a little bit, pressuring, pressuring it out a little bit more, I think. Yep. Zach Forbes in foul trouble now, third foul. Uh, second foul for Illinois. Iowa has just one. Lehman Carr, long three, no. Rebound It's going to come down to Illinois. It looked like Davis or... Uh, let's see, who's that guy's name again? Victor Jones had it. And Johnson, uh, Isaiah Johnson is on the board, 60 to 53. Coming down court, Alex Vondahar. Nice shot there, looks like a little a little reach in there, but they're gonna. It looks like it went off Sawyer, and they're gonna. Illinois is gonna take it underneath. Another two wins here by uh, Western Big Six over back teams. Uh, Rock Island surprising win, easy over Davenport Central, and then that left the United Township to beat Bettendorf. So a two and three record against the Western Big Six for the MAC this past winter. As Faylor takes the shot, no good. Rebound comes down. Zach Forbes. Forbes bringing it up. Bondahar, no. Rebound comes down. Mo Walker, the smallest player on the floor, getting a rebound to Faylor. Here we go. Faylor, no. Looked like he might have. Oh, could've nice done move. It. Nice duck up under. Layman Carr. Undersized in there, too. Just putting it up. Nice in. 62 52, 12 24 to go in the second half and it's out of bounds. Mass substitutions. Looks like Daniel Byrne for Bettendorf. Uh, Davenport North has uh, Davion Maryberry Mays. Cody Cooley from West. Uh, Tim Martinez back in. And uh, we have Eric Lee back out there. Mayberry Mays, I mean, he led he led the Iowa boys with seven rebounds in the first half. So, so Davenport North, again, one of those teams that has talent, just uh, not showing up in the win column necessarily. Yeah, I, I, again, I think uh, Coach Overton's doing a great job over there, and and I think, you know, you just need to keep plugging away. And Steve Overton, of course, yeah. we're speaking of. Yes, I mean, Coach Overton does a great job, and, and I think that those guys, uh, you know, they, they, got some, they got some boys coming, and you just got to keep doing it the right way and see what happens. There's the shot there by the Geneseo standout, Michael Ashpole. Run the floor. Here we go, Eric Lee. Lee looks, takes the three-pointer, no. Long two, maybe. There's Mary I don't know. Mays again with the putback. Mayberry Mays, 64 53. He's got six points tonight. He's got eight rebounds to go with it. So that's pretty impressive there. Rebound, Ash Pull, no. Rebound comes down, and we have a fight over the ball. It's going to be on, uh, it's going to be uh, Iowa's ball, I believe. Uh, they get the alternating possession. As uh, Martinez brings it down court, uh, we did want to touch real briefly uh, the MAC versus the uh, Mississippi Valley Conference, the uh, uh, top Class 4A uh, conference rival for the uh, MAC. Teams went 19 and 15. The MAC beating the Valley this past winter. So uh, uh, kind of a big turnaround from football when. Tim Martinez, that's his second, team second. When uh, the MAC only won two games, both of them by Clinton. Um, and uh, Martinez picked up the foul for Pleasant Valley, but 
Tell me a little bit about how uh, you saw the MAC matching up against Mississippi Valley Conference. Well, you know, the, the, the MAC has got some, I mean, this is kind of my first year back, but the MAC just the has, mm -hmm. yeah, the MAC just had some really talented teams this year. And I mean, you're seeing it on the floor right here. And, and uh, but, you know, everybody's got, everybody's got some real good players out there. It's just all kind of determines on who gets it done from night to night. Had a couple trades of possession there. Zashbull oh. tried to get the shot and it's blocked outside uh, by Eric Lee. He was there, he taps it out. Substitutions for Illinois coming in. Victor Davis for Geneseo Prince for Alleman. I believe Shaq Lowry's back out there. Yeah, Shaq. And uh, DJ Anderson, I think, went back out there. DJ Anderson, your your uh, dunk champion. The big dunk champion. Back on the floor. 10:21 to go in the uh, second half. 64-53. Of course, I think there were some years that uh, when uh, some of your best years at Durant uh, Bennett, uh, when you had uh, Jamie Meyer and. Uh, uh, Jake Soy, they might have compared very favorably against uh, a lot of these back schools in the Western Big Six. Yeah, we had we had a, a good run out there a few years back where uh, you know we had the Peterson kid Ross Peterson that's at yeah. Iowa playing football and and Soy and Meyer, Davis. Scott Schlopkel. Davis for uh, three right there, by the way, for uh, uh, the Illinois boys, but go so ahead. We had some nice players out there, had a nice run. We went 19-5 and five one year. I think we went three years of the district final game, and, and I think we won six, 15 or 16 games three or four years in a row with, added with that 19-win season. So Martinez, by the way, with the last shot for Iowa. But, uh, you know, just when you're in that small town, uh, Sometimes uh, you're at the mercy of uh, who, who yeah, the athletes are. You are. You're going to get times where you've got talent, and you're going to get years where you don't. And, and uh, but those were fun years, and years I'll never forget. Yep. Daniel Byrne picking up a foul. We got a timeout with the Illinois boys. Well, yep. We're going to take a quick timeout, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But we'll take a quick timeout. We don't want to put that on the air. Okay, okay, hey, hey, hey. We're back as uh, Michael Ashpole will take the first shot. And it's good, 66-57. Ashpole was your other uh, finalist in the dunk competition. Makes the second, he's got five points. 66-58, uh, Iowa leading Illinois. Uh, but anyway, getting to that point about, you know, how Saul School sometimes at the mercy of uh, yes, uh, Martinez, or Mar Mar Michaelis, excuse me, makes the three-point shot, 69-58. Um, anyway, um, the uh, large school, sometimes uh, teams like Bettendorf PV, you notice they just seem to rebound year after year. Yeah, there just seems like there's so many more kids to choose from, and the, the talent pool is just so much more. And at the small schools, I mean, if you don't have a dad or somebody running your program down at young ages, you know, at fourth, fifth, sixth grade, sometimes, you know, there's there's nothing that comes up. So it's it's yeah. hard. And the kids out in the small schools, they're they're playing every sport, you know. Yep. And a lot of these bigger schools, these kids are starting to uh, just single in on one or two sports. So. Michaelis with the shot. Johnson yep. going to the glass and a put back. Nice. And that's what he does. Finds himself around the basket and he gets a lot of what I call garbage points. 71 58, make that 71 60. Ashpole. Ashpole. 71 60. A nice stroke there. 8 10 to go in the second half. Oh, nice high low. Roll. Daniel. Couldn't quite connect there, uh, Joe Daniel. But uh, no, North Scott's another one of those teams that seems to uh, reload year in and year out as Ashpole makes the uh, shot for Gen uh, for the Illinois boys. Yeah, we're really excited what we've got coming. Um, you know, our sophomore boys this year were 14 and seven. We, we brought up six freshmen 
We went 11 and 5 in the conference, and we've got a lot of juniors back. Martinez there at the varsity Good. level, so we're excited what we've got coming. 73-62, and uh, you know a lot of the Illinois uh, Iowa schools at least have. Oh, almost a dunk, but a nice putback there by Martinez. Tried the little alley oop to Johnson, but just couldn't get her done. 75-62. Nope, rebound by Martinez. Uh, but no, there's a lot of uh, talented players, it looks like, in the uh, MAC, at least, that are juniors. Uh, if you looked at the Quad City Times yesterday, they uh, uh, had uh, the uh, all Metro teams and a uh, number of juniors on that. Victor Davis making the shot. Yeah, it's gonna be an exciting year next year to see what it brings. Uh, yes. And we're going to see if we can pull that up here uh, real quickly as uh, Shaq, Lowry. Shaq Lowry looks around. And there's the shot, no good. Mark uh, Michaelis, you have to keep them straight. No. 65, 75-64. Uh, Sean Vanderhaar and Isaiah Johnson, the two Quincy boys out on the floor. But no, uh, the two uh, players that made the All-Metro first team uh, in the uh, Times uh, were, uh, of course, Brandon Voss from Norscott and then Chesson Randall from uh, Rock Island. And then uh, the uh, second team, uh, we had uh, Tavian and Pomley from Davenport Central, and you've seen uh, Pomley this year. Yeah, Pomley's a handful. The uh, little brother of, uh, what was his name? TJ, uh, I forget the guy's name, but he had a, a big brother that was real big. Yes. I want to say AJ Pomley, but. Yeah, that's That sounds right. It is initials, I know that. Yep. And uh, we're at the six minute mark as Martinez looks around. Good post. Yes, Daniel, nice Daniel. Michaelis. He's showing why he's the Mac player of the year. Yeah, I mean, when he gets his back to the basket and clears out there, he's tough to guard. He's just a, he does a nice job with his legs and body and pushes you around. And Victor Davis. Davis is a nice player. Well, I really like him. Boy, he's he's athletic too. He doesn't just stay right underneath the basket. He can put it on the floor and go to the hoop from about 15 away. So he has 17 on the night, and uh, we want to do some quick uh, addition for Daniel. I believe he has 15. As we have more mass substitutions. Demetrius Singleton for UT coming in for the Illinois boys. Alex Lehman Carr. Cody Cooley for West, Andrew Failer and Davion Maryberry Mays for Davenport. It seems like it's just kind of been that, that uh, 10 point, 11, 12 point, about, about the whole second half. There's Carr. Lehman Carr. So anyway, uh, the uh, juniors names that we mentioned on the top two teams uh, of the Metro. Uh, it's going to be an exciting year next year in the MAC. And one point we didn't get to with the uh, girls game as we take a quick timeout here. We'll we'll come back to that point in a minute. We're going to take a quick timeout. Watch, had my daughter watch. Okay, we're back into action here as Illinois will inbound 80 to 66. Iowa is leading by 14. And uh, that's uh, Singleton. Gets it out to Lindauer for the Moline boys. It was rebounded by Lehman Carr for Central, the Iowa boys, with the ball out of bounds. But anyway, that uh, the girls uh, also have some good players coming back, it looks like. Stacy Clark for Pleasant Valley. Uh, she uh, uh, led the uh, team uh, to uh, the Max first class 4A uh, state uh, tournament berth. We have a foul on the floor. Yeah. Uh, Singleton. 
court. She looks like a nice player. Yes, and then Markeisha Harris uh, for Moline. Cody Cooley is going to go to the line. No, anyway, so Markeisha Harris, she's a junior over at Moline. Moline had four girls over here tonight. As Cooley makes one of two, 421 to go. Nice take. Nice, yes, nice shot there by Johnson. Six points for him. Nope, but scramble inside. It's Failer again. Failer, nice shot. And he's in double figures. I believe he has 11. Um, so anyway, Clark uh, for P Pleasant Valley, Harris for uh, Moline, and then uh, also Michaela Fallon for United Township. She's just a sophomore, and she's already on the second team. So wow, there could be impressive. so there could be some pretty exciting uh, players uh, for uh, uh, the uh, Quad City Area girls basketball as well as Lehman Carr. Wow, drives what a inside, move. gets it in. We have a foul. Lehman Carr just looks like he, um, you know, he's got that smile out there and there's just no pressure to him. He's just going to go to work. I like it. Lehman Carr going to make the old fashioned three point play here. Sure did. Well, I made a right prediction. So it is 86 68. 18 point lead for Iowa, and uh, Iowa's in pretty good position to win this one. Yeah, they are. They're really playing well. Get a second in a row at least. Uh, Singleton makes the shot. 86 70, 315 to go in the uh, second half. Slayman Carr brings wow. it up court. Gets it. Nice shot there. I mean, yeah, he's got two defenders pretty much guarding him. He splits the D, goes down the, goes down the lane, and just finishes with such sweetness, really. I mean, yes. Gonna go to the line again, and nope, couldn't get the old-fashioned three that time. 88-70, 18-point lead for Iowa. This is. Nice shot there, no good. Rebound uh, comes down to number 42, Singleton. It's 88-72. We could get close to 100 points here. I think you're right. Of course, I think you did that once uh, when you were at uh, coaching at Durant. The uh, old Bennett High was who you were playing. Yeah, we had a shot at it. We had a shot at it. I think the school record was like 109 or 105 or something like that. We had yeah. a shot at it. Had a, I think he ended with 105, so the school record must, must be 109. Must have been 109 or something. Yeah, yeah, we had a shot at it. 90 to 72. Cooley off the mark there, unfortunately. Uh, Thomas Lindauer for Moline coming with the rebound. And uh, Iowa's going to inbound as uh, Mayberry May. Uh, no, that's not Mayberry Mays. That's Alex Lehman Carr. Cooley. Oh, nice pass. And there we go. Failer. Never fails to disappoint. 92 72. We're going to get a quick timeout here. Like nope, it's right? not a quick timeout, excuse me. It's just a substitution. Yeah. Victor Jones. Victor Jones checking in for Rock Island. For the Illinois squad is Isaiah Johnson. And there's uh, another shot there. Here comes Lehman Carr. Wow, nice pass. And failure. Lehman Carr to to Failer, just beautiful pass on the block there. I believe he has 19 points right now. It's, it's uh, getting close to a minute to go. 
They might have to hurry now, but still, it's an impressive night for the Iowa uh, sure team. Sure is. Sure is. It's fun to watch. Both Co sides. Coached by Ray Shevlin. And uh, we have Cody Cooley. Looks around, gets it to Lehman Carr. Oh. Lehman up, no. Oh, it looked like Cooley could have had a slam. That's Cooley four points like he for went him. Down hard there. Hope he's okay. Yeah, Eric Lee, I think, is the only one that hasn't scored tonight. If I look at my uh, score sheet, uh, that's the. Am I right, Lehman? Yeah. I don't have him for anything tonight, I'm for, uh, and that's kind of surprising, but... Well, he had a couple looks Bonahar. early, but um, just wasn't able to get him knocked down. But, you know, his teammate's coming up pretty big here tonight. And uh, it's going to be running out the clock as uh, uh, Sam Hamer getting a couple consolation baskets as we're at the 22nd mark. Illinois still playing D hard though. They're gonna play it all the way out. You have to give them a thumbs up for that. That's probably the last shot for Iowa. Nope, maybe not. Here we go. Taylor, no. Three, two, one, that's gonna do it. 96-76. And we'll hang it right here as we're gonna get the uh, presentation. For player of the game. Looked like Lehman Carr had 20 points, uh, maybe, and uh, Joe Daniel with 15, Andrew Failer with 15, so some pretty impressive figures there. Yeah, it was. Those three gentlemen played very, very well tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in your men's game tonight, Victor Davis having 17. From Devonport Central, Alex, Alex Lehman Carr right there. Yeah, he would have been my he would have been my bet. He would have been my pick, Brian. And of course he's gladly accepts. He's got a big smile on his face. Gonna hold that up high and he's ecstatic. Again, so that's going to end this game here tonight. Uh, TJ Case, I want to thank you for coming here tonight and uh, taking time out of your Monday night to uh, watch this exciting contest. Yeah, I had a blast, Brian. Thanks for inviting me. Yes. So for TJ Case, uh, it's Brian Ratchin signing off with this Family Ties production. Your final score once again, the Iowa boys, 96, 96, and... Uh, Illinois 76. Good night from Augustana College.